Joan, and this is my road. Welcome to Joan's Realm. If you don't recognize the church behind me, it's Santa Maria degli Angeli, and we're not in Rome. We are in Assisi. And I don't even know where to begin with this very special church, but it's what's inside the church that is so magnificent. The church you see was built in the 15th, 16th century, but inside is what's called the Porzioncola, and that word means a little piece of land. On a small piece of land in what used to be a forest, a hamlet actually called Santa Maria degli Angeli, there was a very, very small chapel, which had actually been owned by the Benedictines since the year 516. St. Francis loved to come to this area just about two miles outside of the town of Assisi. It was a quiet forest, it was tranquil, it was peaceful. That's what he sought. And when he found this chapel, he decided to repair it, as he has done with other churches. We have learned and we'll see again. He repaired this and it was actually here, inside this very small chapel, the Porzioncola, that he founded the order. It was also here, actually, that at a later date, St. Francis gave St. Clair her habit. Now, in the very beautiful church today behind us, as I said, in the center is the Porzioncola, and just a bit to the right and ahead of that is the room, the chapel of the transitus, that is to say, the chapel where St. Francis died. We had a marvelous tour of these splendid buildings built over many centuries, and we actually saw a very small room in which St. Francis lived, his cell. Now, the room we saw was built over the original cell. There's a statue of him as he's looking at the crucifix, a very big part of his life. I, I can't tell you enough about the wonders of Santa Maria degli Angeli, or of the Porzioncola, or of the Rose Garden, where the story goes that St. Francis, rethinking his vocation to poverty, decided to punish himself for that thought, and he threw himself into some bushes which had thorns on them. But miraculously, the thorns disappeared. That same garden, that rose garden, we can see today with a very beautiful statue of St. Francis as he's actually preaching to one of the animals that he loved. In 1216, in a vision in Porzioncola, St. Francis obtained from Jesus himself the so-called indulgence of Porzioncola. He asked the Lord that all those people who have repented and confessed their sins who will come to this church may obtain a full and generous pardon and a complete remission of their faults the Lord accepted. He told Francis to run this by his vicar on earth, Pope Honorius III, who listened attentively and approved. To the question, Francis, for how many years do you wish this indulgence? The saint replied, Holy Father, I'm not asking for years. I'm asking for souls. So when you're in Assisi, do not miss Santa Maria degli Angeli. You must get a feeling of who Saint Francis was. Il poverello, the poor man as he is called in Italy. For more insights into the daily life here in Rome, check out my daily blog, Jones Rome, on EWTN.com.